Hello everybody, today in front of me I have Honor Magic 4 Pro smartphone and in this video we would like to share the best display settings to change on this device. Alrighty, so first of all let's go ahead and open up the settings app, enter the display and brightness category and the first cool setting that we would like to review in this video that we would like to show you is called color mode and temperature and as you could already guess it allows you to change the color palettes of well the interface on your device there are two presets to choose from normal and vivid and also the separate color palette which allows you to regulate the color temperature or should I say the main color just like so and some presets like default color temperature warm and cool I'll leave it at cool myself. The next configuration that I would highly recommend that you try playing with is called eye comfort. And this setting, once active, reduces the eye fatigue and make your eyes significantly less tired from using the display of this device by filtering out the excess amounts of blue light. Here we have the bar that allows us to regulate the this effect, this feature intensity, just like so. And there is also the scheduled mode for the eye comfort, which allows us to set some particular time frames for this uh, feature to be automatically enabled at and disabled at as well. The next feature is called ebook mode, a very simple setting, should I say, just a toggle, which, which as you can see once activated, makes everything kind of grayish, black and white, should I say, uh, making the display, the screen of your device look like it would be uh, the display or the screen of any electronic book. So if you use your smartphone for long reading sessions, you can turn this toggle on and prevent your eyes from being overly tired, let's say. A very cool mode to have as well. The next option is allows you to change the screen resolution as you can see we can either turn on the smart resolution toggle which will uh, automatically adjust the screen resolution or go for the manual mode and choose the particular resolution that we would like to go with so as you can see there are three values to choose from low standard and high obviously the higher you go the more battery power it drains but as you can see my battery currently is sufficient so i'll opt for the higher value and the final option that I would highly recommend that you try changing or try playing with is located at the very bottom of the display and brightness category of settings page and called screen refresh rate. As you can see in here, we can set various values as per the display refresh rate from 60 Hz to 90 Hz all the way up to 120 Hz. So the deal is that the higher value you go for, the more smoother and silkier animations and interface experience you'll get, but at the same time it consumes significantly more battery health and battery power. So basically if you would like to preserve or conserve the battery health or it is not sufficient currently, you can opt for, well, more humble values, let's say. But if the battery is nothing is none of your concern you can crank it up all the way up to 120 hertz and get the most silky the silkiest the, the, the more smoother animations or there is also the dynamic option which will automatically between uh, should i say switch between this available values in accordance with the current system state i'll as i've already mentioned i'll have a sufficient amount of battery on me currently Therefore, I'll simply turn on the higher value. Alrighty, so that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.